Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Armageddon Empires. Where we left off, we were actually in a decent position. Despite the fact that early on in this game, I thought we were in a miserable position, given the difficult fighting we would have to do. But we won that fighting, and we actually have gotten quite a few rewards. Let's sum up what we what's going on. So we found the strange gate, which had the Guardian guarding it. We eliminated him, and took this over. This location is a Strength 10 Range 3 Reconnaissance location. So it detects... everything around here for the most part. Which is phenomenal. That is going to help us figure out when the enemy is incoming. We also picked up the Mecha Design Lab. Which gives us more resources, and... Granted us a Harbinger Mecha. An amazing unit. We also had Mechanicus play. Who is a master st uh, strategist. So, traps one from the threshold for making tactic cards. And is increasing our action points by one. Because he's in the same spot as a friendly academy. He has Tactician 5, which has been helpful for making uh, some tactic cards for us as well. Now we're running around, trying to find other resources and locate where the enemy might be coming from. We had Tentacle Beasts over here, and we have two Terminus. I'm tempted to drop one of these Terminus over here somewhere and begin pushing in this direction. However, we've seen the Free Mutants come down in this way, so it might be better for us to go and find them. I'm not sure just yet what I want to do. This round, what are we going to do now? So, let's, um, it's been, I think, two days since I last played, so I want to take a peek and see how my armies are doing. So we don't have a t any technology at the moment, so we can't do anything else here. Like, I don't have a actual laboratory. We could make things a little easier for tactic card creation by leveling this, but I don't think I want to quite yet. Hmm. I need more cards in my hand, because we need more army. I also, though, want to... I want to explore all these hexes. So let's start with the spider bots. And we'll move before we decide to draw cards. And we'll just move the spider bots here. This ghost probe will move south one. And then move into this rock desert. That gives us nine action points left. We could deploy this other ghost... Oh! I wanted to pull these units back to upgrade them to make them more survivable, I believe. Okay, we'll have to do that. Since we have currently, by the way, the Strange Gate, we already have a Strength 7 Reconnaissance Sweep in our Deadland, so I don't really need to keep these spider bots here, either. Next turn, we'll move them out. This turn, let's draw some cards. Eh. Don't get me wrong, zombie launchers are nice. We could pull... Actually, no, we can put a zombie launcher in this force. Absolutely fine. That will be fine. Hey! Going first again. Okay. Nothing showed up on our radar yet. So they're keeping away from our strange gate. That doesn't mean we're not in any danger. They could be pushing down this side of the map, for example. Okay, so we have another spider bot. I really don't want to deploy that. I'd like to hold on to that for the future. Let's move this spider bot into this hex. Uh, there was no resources there. We'll then begin moving this spider bot out in this direction. And I guess, oh, I don't really want to lose the spider bot. So we might have it come up in this direction. This one is... Oh, this one's not upgraded, so we should pull it back to our base, honestly. Let's deploy a zombie launcher. And we'll also add it to Fanatic's defense systems. Making that a very nice army. This spider bot is upgraded. Let's move it out. Let's pull our ghost probe back. And upgrade it. You know, Commando would be nice for this. To let it keep its... Uh, its movement of three. 
We could do it. It's just very unlikely. It's a seven die challenge, and we only get five dice. However, we have a plus three fate dice, so we could do it. We could do it. I just, I usually like not doing that, though, but we need to ex- You know what, Tim? Try it. Oh, well, this, this was an utter failure. No luck. We have one action point left. We will just end our turn. All right, forget that. We're not doing that again. That was a giant waste. Hello, Ravager. He's moving south. Ooh, that's awkward. Oh, he left again. Let's see where he went. Oh, hello. There's energy there. I'm going to want that energy. I don't want to end my turn here in case he ended his turn up here. We'll go back to the hills. Okay, so we let's then just try to make some hit points and resistance. The stealth, our ghost probe. We'll give it the toughness training. Stealth it again, and move it out. I want to keep an eye on what happens in that hex. We have enough points left to move these spider bots into the Deadlands. Right now, I'm just trying to beef up my... Oh, we did we detect this guy. We didn't see him in our range, though. Not originally, and it's an Outrider. We don't have an air card, so I can't destroy it, unfortunately. I really don't want it. Well, if it arrives in the Clanted Desert, we'll just kill it. Let's make an army out here. Act, uh, yeah, we sh should. I'd like to have an army. I could, we could jump into this hex with this Revenant Platoon. Which might kill the Outrider. It will be tricky because it's got four defense. It'll have five defense when we attack it. But we might kill it. Let's give it a try. We'll save the game first. Let's do it. Ready to go. Darn it. Just one point of damage. We'll have to get lucky to kill it on the retreat. It doesn't damage us, which I didn't... I was hoping it wouldn't do. It's totally gonna run. And, of course, we don't do it. Um, let's turn two failures into successes. And now it's dead. Good. Next, let's remake that fake card that we used. Actually... Let's increase the Conflict Node. That gives one extra dice when it comes to making advanced training or tactic cards. Which is really flippin' handy, because Mechanicus is not the best tactic card creator, because the Machine Empires need the extra fate. With one point left, that's not enough to really do much of anything. Let's pull our spider bots down. Back a bit. Oh, oh, I didn't actually want to do that. Well, it's too late now. How on earth did you sneak into this hex? Oh, and I don't get the option to attack them on my turn? That's lame. Oh, 
Oh, uh, and we don't roll well. And of course, everyone goes before us. So we're gonna- there'll be at least one assassination attempt here. Oh, no, there wasn't. Okay. There was not. Thank God we got lucky. So let's go ahead and try to kill it. And we will attack. What's- uh, these guys have Sniper, don't they? I think they have Sniper, so I'm not willing to risk it. We'll use Sonic's Defense Systems. They do, they have Sniper. So Sniper means that they can make their kill attempt on Relicus during combat, like this. So I'm very interested in just slaughtering them if we can. Let's have the Scourge Platoon try to put a point of damage on them. And we kill them. Was expensive though. Let's have Skynet begin walking back to the Clandestine Desert. And our Ghost Probe will move into this hex and see what was in it. We're gonna move Empiricus. Oh, we are. Oh, we're not. The armies got destroyed. The, the armies I had in here were cleaned out when the enemy walked their black hands into my hex. We should be allowed to attack it when they move in. That's just kind of lame that we weren't able to. Oh, that's a good roll. Thank goodness. I said, of course, we, we didn't go. Well, no, no. We just rolled. We just rolled poorly last round. Okay, let's continue to move Skynet. Back to the Clandestine Desert. We'll... Mm, we'll make an army. We'll put Empiricus in it. Actually, no. Maybe you shouldn't do that, Tim. Maybe you should just use Phalanx Defense Systems. Move them out. Move them out. They can collect that energy. Oh, hello! Crashed mothership. Riley's here. I want this. This is a good generator. Anti-air, anti-missile. And with Riley, without an army. But it's going to be tricky. One... One, two, three. They don't have range to me yet, either. Let's deploy this zombie launcher in the Deadlands. And then we can't do anything else. I can't increase the spider bots. I'm just not allowed because the spider bots, uh, I moved out my general. I need to draw more cards is what I need to do. Oh my god! Look at that! That's terrible! That is one ugly looking army. We have to do something about this. And I don't know what we can do. That is just disgusting. Two Corruptors and two Monstrosities. Thankfully, it's not with Riley. But now, that's going to be a difficult location to claim. We'll still move on the defense systems here, and we'll still build an energy team. We'll move Skynet to the desert. With my leftover points, we'll end our turn. We kind of need to get this army over here. I need to somehow... Uh, how do we attack the Xenopods? Uh-oh, what's happening here, Xenopods? Oh, look what it is! A Gangrel! That's really super bad. Now they know where I'm located. Oh, and Columbia's here now, and in supply. Marching right toward my base. Oh my god! We will accept the siege. We have to come back to defeat this.
We can't deploy anything else to the Deadlands at the moment. We're under attack. Let's move Skynet into the garrison. Oh, no. Let's move the Skeletors into Skynet. And draw a card. There's not much of anything else we can do. We haven't been picked up here, and that Gangrel's walking around down here. It might take over our LZ X-Ray, or it might take the Mecha Design Lab. There's absolutely nothing we can do to stop it. Here they come! They're in supply. They're aiming right toward my base. That's the, that's the Gangrel taking all my resources down below. This is the worst situation I could ever find myself in. Pata is going to claim the strange gate and then walk into my base and there's nothing I can do to stop them. Because the Free Mutants are, are sieging me. So let's move here and attack. Okay. We are thankfully first. Let's attack the Mauler. Oh, love of God. Take away the fate points. We need to damage it. We need it shocked. We have to get it shocked. And we'll turn uh, we'll turn two success dice, two failures into successes, and accept it. The Mauler is simply an amazing unit. Oh my god! Okay, we need to stop this as well. Let's get plus two success dice because I don't want to lose my zomb uh, my ro zombie launcher. Let's go after this unit and try to lower its defense, and we lower it. We do hit it. Defense is lowered by one, and now we'll try to kill the Basher. Five damage, almost dead. Can our Skeletors lower its defense dice at all? Hit twice. Yes, they do lower its defense dice. We'll keep hammering on it. Hopefully we'll destroy it. That's a miserable roll on our part. Good roll on their part. Come on, Harbinger Mecha. Excellent. Basher destroyed. Columbus is running, and we damage the Mauler a little more. We need to get out of here. We're going to lose this small force I have to the Xenopods, so we can't stay. It's not worth it. And we're done. I don't care if I go first, because we don't have the resources I can afford to just bid them so often now. I think we just didn't even move in. Okay, let's move Phoenix Defense System down here and destroy the Gangrel. We'll actually start by using our Zombie Launcher to try to lower its defense dice by one. Good, we succeed. Our Scourge Platoon will attack next. That's a fantastic hit, and it's destroyed. So I don't really know what to do, everybody. This is just a nightmare. This army is so stupidly strong, I don't know how we're going to defeat it. We need to draw cards. Okay, and we also probably should bid. If I can swing this army into Columbia... Um, I always call him Columbia. Is that his actual name? What's this guy's name? Coloboma. If we, we gotta swing it into Coloboma's army. We can spend a turn to gather some resources. How much is it to move this army? Five. We can make a materials team. And a technology team. And then swing into him. Okay. Let's start with the... Sticks. We need to shock it. And we... D oh, God. We need to spend the fate. We need to shock it. We'll take away... Uh, success dice. 
Give you spawns. We'll take away success dice. He's damaged. He's shocked. We can then use our zombie launcher. Try to get his defense dice lowered. And that was not a success. Our Scourge Platoon. That was not a success. Our Harbinger. Kills it thanks to the combined arms bonus. And Columbia is captured. With our leftover points, Mechanicus will make Thought. And we end our turn. I think. Actually, Skynet will move into the Deadlands. We'll probably add these troops to our garrison. Can't do anything about it. I can't stop them. They now have strength 10 reconnaissance to my base. And we're going third. Here they come! Yup, there's no reason why they shouldn't just walk into me. Our minefield will get a chance to hurt them before they do it. I've never seen my minefield ever damage anything ever. So it's good to see that this is going to continue. Unbelievable. <laughs> yup. They walked in and found my spider bots here, so they'll get a f attack against them. And we'll just, uh, this is dead. I don't know how we're gonna win. I, I think we've just lost. I think, I think we lost the game. So, we need to remake the tactic cards. Because it's the only way we're going to have a chance to win. And we need to move on this defense system into the Deadlands to hold it. We have no tactic cards. We'll try to get one of these. Then we'll try to get plus three success dice. Nope. All right, that's it. We need to go first, and I need to move into the... No, I can't move into them. They're going to get plus one defense dice, which is just a nightmare. Oh, only two successes in that. So the Xenopods go first. Do they attack me? They do not. That will give me a round to try to make fate cards, then. Ah, this sucks. Yeah, the Machine Empire is just terrible when it comes to... I'll, I'll say it. Just about anything. They they don't have any extra fate without uh, upgrades. Oh my god! Minus one success dice for that. Like, look at all the... It's costing me fate to make fate with our best person. With a fully upgraded um, location. This is terrible. And we need them. We're not going to beat this army unless we have them. Okay. Let's try something a little sneaky. Skynet. Oh! We're being sieged! Oh, no we're not. Not yet. Okay. Let's have you two... Jump. To death and take it. Darn it, they're not out of supply. Let's de stealth. Oh, can we capture him? Let's hunt him. Oh, oh! Uh, we can't. Let's take plus three success dice. Kill them. Excellent. We'll re-stealth them and move them the heck out of there. That was really lucky. Unfortunately, it cost us a fate point. A fate card. We have one card, one point left. Um, let's just end our turn. 
Oh, pod hover ships attacking my units. Three damage on that Remnant Platoon. They're gonna march back up here to reclaim it. We'll accept the siege. Going first. This is exciting. There's an oh, they have a supply right there. Can we? No, we can't jump into that location, or I would. We need to get take this. This is a garrison, so they have a base there. Okay, let's try this. No, not yet, Tim. Not yet. Get into position. And crush them next turn. My plan is to jump my other jump troop into this location and take it from them next turn. But actually, we can just move our ghost probe in instead. Let's, let's, uh, again, make tactic cards, because we're going to need them. Take another two failures and two successes. Oh, thank God. We're actually going to try to make a plus three, six, another plus three success dice. Oof, just failure. Come on, game. I need more than three. There you go. Do they have anything in here? They don't! We take it. We take their hidden hive. This army's still in supply! How is it in supply? Oh, for the love of God. Can I move my TCP dump in such a position to rob them of that supply? Will that do it? No, it won't! Oh my god! I was hoping to get them out of supply so I could just annihilate them because they'd be significantly weakened, but we're not going to get a chance to do that. This army is just... Mo that is so terrible. But I don't think we have a choice. I think we've got no choice but to move in and fight it. So let's do it. This is going to be ugly. The only thing I could think of is we could try seeing if we get lucky enough to draw some better cards first. It'll take us five movement to get in there. I'm willing to draw two cards. No. No, we gotta go in. Let's do it. Okay. We're ready. Ugh, they're so terrible. They're all terrible. They're gonna go after this Scourge Platoon first, so we'll use him to start. Let's try shocking this Corruptor to begin. That was a good roll. That was a good roll. We hit him for three damage. One extra for armor piercing, and this Corruptor is shocked. Going after my zombie launcher. We can't let it damage it. Thankfully, woof, we roll really, oh, really well. There go all our fate points. We'll do the same to them. That's a mistake. Take away your fate point, you jerk. Next, we might as well try to shock another monstrosity. Let's use our sticks. Let's take away one of his fate. And we hit him for three damage. 
We might lose our Scourge Platoon to this. We take two points. Neurotoxin, though, did not inflict anything. We take two more. Thankfully, Neurotoxin doesn't damage us. I would like to kill a unit, if possible, so I don't have to worry about it in future rounds, but I don't think I'm getting lucky enough for it. Let's try using our Zombie Launcher against this Corruptor. If we're lucky, we'll lower its defense dice by another point. Good, we damage it, just one, but its defense gets lowered to five. Our Skeletors will attack it in the hopes that we can lower its defense. They do not. Well, we might as well attack it anyway. One more point of damage. And then our Harbinger will attack it. That was fantastic. Almost destroyed. They're staying. Let's use our Scourge Platoon first. And we will try to destroy this Corruptor. We do so. Oh, we survived that. Our Scourge Platoon survives that attack. Not this one, though. Oh, he might survive. He'll accept it. One hit point left on him. Let's use our sticks and go after this Corruptor. That's a shame. We'll turn two failures into successes and shock it. That will do it. Down goes our Scourge Platoon. Let's try again, lowering this Corruptor's defense dice. Good hit. Three damage, minus one defense. Our Skeletors... Oh, let's use the Harbinger next. They might be able just to kill it. We'd have to have a good roll, though. Uh, that won't do it. One hit point left, though. Come on, Skeletors. We just need one more success, and he's got defense. Not with that roll. That's a shame. So we don't kill that Corruptor. He's staying. He's staying. We need to kill the Corruptor. That's the most important thing I can do. We'll have our Harbinger Mecha try to do it. We'll take minus one success dice on his side. And he's now destroyed. Right, double attack. This is one of their best units. Their toxin doesn't do anything. You know, what? I'll give this to the Machine Empire. They have good resistances on all of their units. Basically, this guy gets a roll of, uh, of one to four. I'm sorry. Yeah, is that right? Bonus of four minus a random roll of defender's resistance is applied to damage inflicted on a successful combat challenge roll against a biologic unit. Maybe it can't affect the machines at all. I didn't think that was the case, but maybe it can't. Hmm. That makes these guys not as good against the Machine Empire. Let's try shocking this monstrosity next. That's a failure. They really don't like our sticks. Oof. Two damage to him. Second attack. Oh, two more damage to him. Some good rolls on their side. Our zombie launcher will try to lower this one's defense dice. And does so. Lowers it by one for two rounds. Skeletors will try to put some damage on it. That's a good roll. Two damage. I'll be surprised if he doesn't run. I'll be surprised if he doesn't run. He's almost lost this monstrosity. He's not running. Our sticks will start and attempt to shock slash kill this, mon this monstrosity. One hit point remaining. Oh, thank God. They rolled poorly. Really poorly. Uh, we can take it. We can take it. Yes. Woo. Sticks doesn't like getting beat up. It manages to dodge all the damage. We should try killing this monstrosity with our Skeletors first. That was not so lucky. That was fantastic, though. Monstrosity down. Next, let's try lowering this one's defensive dice. 
How about you, Harbinger? Can you get him? No, you can't. Now he runs. Oh, thank God. That's right, we have a mechanic with us, so we can repair things, some things, without, without it costing us anything. Oh, hello, consorts. That's a shame. We're gonna get bombarded by enemy air power. Oh, we didn't. Oh, here comes Riley now. Oh, we are gonna get bombarded by enemy air power. That's a fantastic roll. We lose another spider bots. There's Narlex. Hello, Narlex. You know what I like doing, Narlex? I like capturing heroes. Let's... I would also like to eliminate this army altogether. But that's gonna be tricky to do. I want some fate, so let's make another fate card. I want at least a minus five fate points. That's way too useful not to make one. Minus one success dice. Then, we'll de-stealth Ghost Probe and try to capture him. We'll save the game. Uh, I'm just going to reload the game on that. Now, we'll use my second reload on this. I think this is my second. This is my first, this is my first reload. This is my first reload here and try it again. That's a lot more like it, and we kill him. We'll then re-stealth our ghost probe. And we can't move out, but we can get Skynet the hell out of here. Let's jump... Oh... Let's... Where are you, Skynet? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four... Can you leap into this location? Actually, if, even if you did, this army would march right back in and take it. So we can't do that yet. But we can jump you over here to attack their consorts. We're almost out of fate. I'm sorry, we're, we're out of fate, unfortunately. But this will have to do. Let's deploy Aria into our base. And... I don't really want to give her a jump to Delta. The name indicates there's going to be lots of Revan platoons. But we're going to put her into it anyway. And we'll give her this army. Now we have a general leading this force. We need to recreate the resource collectors we have down south, too. Yeah! Humans suck it! Okay. Um, hmm. Let's have our ghost probe move slightly. Here, we'll observe. We could deploy the Cyclops and chase the monstrosity down. Can I? It's four, it's eleven, I won't have any fate. I'll have two fate I can use. I still think it's worth it, so we'll try. Oh, actually, to know, it'll uh, be one fate you'll be able to spend. One fate card. But we're going to do it anyway. Our sticks is still wounded. That's a shame. Let's try this. So our sticks will start, because I would like to shock attack it. That's a good roll. Two damage only, but it's shocked. 
Zombie Launcher will try to lower its defense dice by one. And we'll take away his fate points, I think. We're going to spend all our fate here. Why not? To do two points of damage to it. Okay, this is our chance to defeat him. That's not going to do it. Ooh, good roll. Five damage thanks to the combined arms bonus. Let's have our Skeletors try. We might get a lucky one, one point of damage and be really disappointed when our Harbinger can't kill it. Oh, that's a shame. Harbinger, you just need one point of damage on it. You can do it. What do you think? Place your bets now, everybody. I think I think we're going to roll three. And he's going to roll five. Oh, four and four. That's even worse. So nothing. Can we get him on the retreat? No, we can't. He lives today. But he didn't move away. We can try to chase him, but I'm running low on resources. But it's very important that I still go before them. Okay. Oh, now Riley's moving toward our base. I don't want to lose Skynet. Let's move Skynet into this desert. Riley, I'm fine if you want to attack my force here. I don't really mind that. Before we go after and try to get that abomination destroyed, we're going to make another minus five fate points. And then we'll try another plus three success dice. We can do it, Machine Empire. Okay. We move Ghost Probe in here first. We then move Finance Defense Systems in here. And we attack them again. We just need one point of damage on them. That's it. One point. Go. That's not one point. Let's take away his, uh, let's take away his fate to start. Destroyed. Nice combined arms bonus. We try to capture him. Oh, that's not a good roll. Kill him instead. With their leftover points, I think we'll make a thought. I love saying that. But we're going to hold on to the rest of my points to play tactic cards if we need them. Yeah, here come the air attacks. That's good. One point of damage only. Oh, that sucks. We're going to get pummeled with air, fire, air attacks. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Nice defense systems. Let's move you back to the Clandithi Desert. Actually, let's move you to the Ash Plains. And we will repair. And repair again. And then our Ghost Probe can move here. While Skynet cannot move. And that's all we can do. Let's end our turn. Okay. Let's spend this turn and then we'll call it quits after this turn. We can take a look and see what's up. Uh, how the situation is looking after this. So, first, let's move Skynet slowly toward the Deadlands. We'll make another Fate card. We'll try plus three success. Um, minus one success dice. Okay, and I feel like we should draw cards. We still don't have the supply we need to the Crash Mothership, unfortunately. We will need to take that. I like Arya to get some experience with her army, though. But this army's not very strong. Let's have her make some advanced training. And we'll make... I think we'll make flank attack, honestly. And that will go on our Skeletors. And then we'll draw two cards. 
Lumnicus, hello there. I can't put you in charge of Jump Troop, but I'll do that later. We'll sh I'll try moving a bunch of cards around. He's about to have, if I can get him three Revlin Platoons, that would be amazing. Oh my god! Rangers! I just fended off the mach the Xenopods, Jesus! Can you leave me alone for a little bit, AI? <laughs> oh, look who it is! It's Riley coming back! He's pissed off! We need to get rid of the whatchamacallits that are there. Uh, Skynet will go back to the Deadlands to hold it. Jump to Delta will leave. Oh, they're they're not here. They they stealthed. And I can't detect them. Lumnicus will take control of Skynet. I was supposed to end the turn this round, but it's not gonna happen. Let's have our Phoenix Defense System. Knock out this stealth, uh, this detection unit of the humans before it even gets a chance to find me, find anything else down here. We'll end the we'll end the game next turn, everyone. Okay, let's take stock of the situation as it currently is. We were attacked by the Free Mutants who showed up at our base, knocking on our door with... Colaboma, and we captured him, thankfully giving us some extra action points, thank God. We also destroyed uh, one of their weak Outriders, stopping them from getting more recon down here. We found an energy resource and, and are collecting it. We took a big hit when the Gangrel walked up into our LZ X-Ray and destroyed our collectors. We still need to remake these, which I'll probably do next turn with Jump Troop Delta, moving into this to reclaim it. We fended off the Xenopods in an amazing battle, where we were thankfully just bare- well... I made good tactical decisions, and I can't say the same for the AI, but we- we won. We forced their them off, we eliminated the entire army. That was one of their stronger forces, as well. We've got another strong force, with, led by Riley, marching toward us. We can defeat this, though. This is not insurmountable. It's very difficult, but we can win. It will probably have to be Relicus, though, that does it. Or, we have to give Aria this Styx we just drew, because it's the only chance I have of possibly shock attacking like the Abomination or Monstrosity. It's going to be really difficult, though, to take this out. What else is there? Oh, uh, nothing else, actually. So, we found the, the Xenopods with a crashed mothership, and I really, really want that. We probably should move on to defense systems like 1, 2, 3, drop a Terminus, and run over here and take this location, which would put them out of supply. But I want to do that after they move toward one of my bases a little more. And we have Ghost Probe just holding up in this place. So, uh, oh right, we've also lost a few of my scouts. Oh right, I had this card of Cyclops. We lost two spider bots? Hmm. We have another one in play somewhere? Where is that spider bot? Oh, I guess I don't. Or do I? Was it out here somewhere? Nope. Okay, we have a spider bot in my hand, which I don't really want to play. The ghost probe out here as well. I will eventually deploy the, the spider bot, but I want, don't want it dying. I want to make I want to push the enemy away at the moment. Right. So the so the xenopods took our Clandethu desert and marched right up toward the deadlands. But I thankfully was able to save all my units by evacuating that area first. They walked into my minefield, which still to this day hasn't damaged anything. Nothing. The minefields are basically just a way for you to tell when the enemy's here. I, I swear it needs to roll like attack 10 against everything to have a chance to put damage on it. The AI will avoid this spot as well now that it knows it's here. Uh, what else is there? Uh, nothing else. That's about it. I complained a bit. <laughs> a little bit about the, about the fate rolls. I really think 
Machine Empire suffers from the worst uh, chances at producing anything without this divinity processor now to add fate to them. Free fate is so low. So low. But we're doing it. We're, we're doing it. We might actually pull through. With a, with a very strong Xenopod army repulsed, this is the next big threat we have. I'm looking to hopefully draw a research lab or an assassin in my hand. If I can knock out Riley, that also really drops the offensive capability of this army. Alright, well that'll do it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see everyone in the next one. Take care, everyone.